Hey guys, this is Steve again over at HVACPARTSHOP.com. I want to go over a universal motor with you, getting it uh, uh, wired up. But I uh, want to kind of go over a little bit with you, as you can see here on the front of this. This, is a, this motor is a 1 6 This is dual horsepower. So it's a 1 half to 1 6 It's a 115 volt motor. Uh, 4 speed, 1075. And then we got different uh, capacitors. Depending on the capacitor, is going to depend on what horsepower we're using. So if we had, um, if we needed a half horsepower motor, we would use a 10 microfarads capacitor with it. And, and then if we needed to have a 1 sixth horsepower, then we'd use a 7.5 microfarads capacitor. Um, one thing to consider when you're getting a new motor, you should always get a new capacitor with it. Let's go ahead and get this one open. And we'll kind of go over it. Comes with a nice little sheet here. Kind of tells you, uh, gives you a wiring schematic here. Tells you uh, what our speeds are for the different wires and how to go ahead and get them connected. So we'll go ahead and set that aside here. And let's go ahead and get this thing unpacked. Set this aside. One thing nice about a universal is there's several different ways you can mount these. Um, and then it also has a uh, different rotation. So depending on, you know, your furnace, whatever way the motor rotates to spin properly. So it does come with a little pack of screws here as well inside the, the for different, uh, different ways of mounting it. So that's what these would be for. Um, go ahead and get these back in here. Usually on a motor like this, on a blower motor, usually you'll have a belly band that goes around it. You, you can use the same one that you have on the old motor that you're replacing or um, get a new one. We also carry those as well. So let's just kind of get these wires kind of cleaned up real quick and I'll go over them with you. So we got our white. We know that our white is going to be our neutral. That's our neutral. And then our two browns that we have in here are going to be our capacitor leads. So we got a brown with a white stripe and we got a straight brown. So these are what will go to the capacitor. And then we have our different blower speeds. So black or black wire is going to be used for high speed because um, we need a high speed when we're in cooling mode. So black's going to be high speed for our blower and then we need a speed for for heating. Normally we don't want a lot of air moving through the furnace in heating mode uh, so we can get maximum heat out of it. So usually I like to go with a red wire. Red is very low speed and then we have a couple other speeds here as well that we can change to if we ever need to in the future. Um, usually these will go to a, to a park terminal uh, on the control board or if you don't have one then we can just uh, go ahead and tape the ends of these up and then just coil them up and, and make them nice and tight to where they don't get wrapped up in the blower wheel as it's, as it's turning around because that wouldn't be good. But once, once you get everything powered and this motor's up and running you will have voltage coming out of these leads, so it's important to make sure that we get these insulated. If we did need a different speed and we didn't want to use our red for low speed, then we could go, uh, our yellow is going to be a medium low, so that'd be your next speed up from red, which is red is low again, and then our blue is going to be a, is going to be a medium high. That's basically that. Um, we do have a connector here on the side. What this is going to do, this is going to be for our rotation of the motor. So whether it spins clockwise or counterclockwise. The way to change the rotation, once you get your, your motor in there, everything's mounted and you're ready to test, um, make sure your blower wheel's facing the right way to get, uh, to get your air moving. If you notice it's spinning the wrong way, you can just unplug this. It just kind of unplugs. Just go a half a turn. A half a turn, plug it back in. 
and then your motor will spin the opposite way, whether it be counterclockwise or clockwise. That's pretty much it on this motor. Like I said, we do have a um, different mounts for this, um, and I'll kind of go over those with you as well. Um, this up front is a mounting bracket uh, for, you know, they, they got mounting brackets that mount on the ends, so here and here, or you can get just a regular belly band that will go across that. I think I got a belly band here. So talking about the belly band, uh, I'll go over that with you real quick. This would be a belly band mount, and this is something that you might want to get too while you're getting the universal motor. This is a belly band right here. So the way it would mount on your motor is it just kind of goes over, um, kind of loosen this up a little bit. Sorry, I should have been prepared for you guys here, but it won't take long. So this is how a belly band mounts similar to this right here and then it just wraps around it and then that will slide into your blower housing and then you get your screw holes here to, to mount your motor um, that's pretty much it you want to make sure when you're when you are mounting your blower wheel you get a flat side on this shaft right here that's where your set screw from your uh, blower wheel will mount to is the flat side so anyway, that's this this motor um, and, and a universal motor. That's how you mount it. Um, I will have more videos to come. Until the next time, I'll see you then.